Guys, I did uh, <laughs> laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I did think so far. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am LG, uh, an Erasmus Mundus recipient studying in France for my first year. I make videos about Erasmus scholarships and my lifestyle and travel across Europe. I'm here with my friend. We are both dance students. I will let him introduce himself. Hello, my name is Chiboso. I'm also an Erasmus Mundus student studying in France as well. Okay, all right. So uh, for this video, we were talking about things that we experienced when we came into France as international students that shocked us. So basically like cautious shocks. <laughs> so basically like culture shocks we experienced when we got here as international students. And we have a list of it, so we'll be going through it one by one. Be flinty. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy it and enjoy the video to the end. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, let's go. Hit that button right here. This one is constant power supply. Uh, so <laughs> when we got here, the fact that we had like 247 was not normal to me. Like, I suspect that at one point, Nepal would, you know, take off the light and it was not like that though. I, I, I remember the first night, like, okay, I, I switched off my lights to, to sleep there. All of a sudden, when I woke up in the morning, the first thing that I remember was like, guy, 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 check that light is like, in case something has happened. <laughs> and funny thing, I, ch I checked it and there was still light. I'm like, wow! <laughs> so it's, it's crazy. Man. Yeah, it's crazy because <clears throat> I, I, I do have to plan my study time around when it's light. I don't need to go to night class and it is always light. You don't need to charge your system on your phone. Exactly. Why charge it? If it's down, you charge it. Like the funny thing is, even our lecturer had made mention of something back in one of the classes that mm -hmm. the last time they could remember power outage was in about, I think, 1980 something or yeah, far back. A long, long time ago. I was like, at the moment you're talking right, at, at the moment that you're talking right now, I know that in my country, <laughs> at this point, at <laughs> this time, <laughs> see, there is no light. Yeah, you know, at least 70% of the places, yeah, it's if crazy. not more. It's crazy, man, but this is a very good experience to see that ah, there's always like yeah, yeah like it, the list of your worry, as basic as it is, is sorted already. The one thing that shocked us was the education system. So for me, right, uh, coming, I finished from Futa, and the education system was rigorous, like it was demanding, but not as demanding as this because here yeah, we had assignments and projects, and you're working every day, you're reading every day if you want to keep up. So it's not the same thing back in uh, Nigeria. We just stuff to prepare for examples, not like assignments and stuff. Uh, okay, that was the first, I think, about the sixth class we had. Okay, the, sec the second week, actually, the second week, we had to write our first exam. Like, this is not test to like the real exam for. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what I'm used to normally is that Wait. you leave all the jacket or tea or you leave all the exam to the end of the semester, and then at that period, you start preparing for the amount my hand. But this was like, just in two weeks and we are sitting for the exam I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, just had to, we just had to do our best to get exactly. used to the so system. There's, there's the system <laughs> of exams all of the time, the system of applying everything you are learning at the same time you are learning. So there's no that you now wait for one time, you now cram everything and now some is like... Cram, you know the help. <laughs> now boom, boom. If you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> so basically you apply everything you're doing it's application application you can't just come and say you cram this no it doesn't work like that no. an assignment and project so yeah that was a shock for me yeah. number three was open display of affection oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so going from Nigeria man you know uh your boyfriend girlfriend they do their thing but <laughs> They do that thing, but they don't do it outside. It's not open, private. You try as much as possible to be modest in public. But yeah, when we go to France, man, you could see kissing everywhere. You could see people like that. You look at these guys are so young to be doing this outside. Secondary school people, they're like, "Are you sure right now? What the heck is going on right now?" So basically, it's like it's like a normal thing for them. You kiss. You come out of class. You see people kissing and like, what is happening? Like. Ah. And for the people that are not yet engaged, uh, <laughs> Wala. No, yet ready to mingle. Wala, <laughs> to mingle. Only, only you are come. <laughs> Basically, these guys are very liberal with their feelings. I, I, I think that's what makes them live long. Maybe, maybe. Like even the young, the old, the 
whatever in fact the age no matter the age grade you see them open affection of love like no 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 yeah for me well i was not actually used to that but at the point in time i was like this yeah, is good, this is good. Like yeah. you're not hiding anything. You're not maybe like now you follow like five girlfriends, all those kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like now it doesn't face me again. I just I'm like, oh okay, no more. But when we came, it was a shock. <clears throat> yeah. Before it's about greetings, you know. Uh, back in Nigeria, you would <laughs> greet everybody. You greet your neighbor. <laughs> As a Yoruba boy, it's like eka, tradition. Eka raw. Eka raw. Good morning, there's a castle, good afternoon. There's greeting for eating, a cool one, Jay. There's greeting for plating your hair, cool, what? There's always greeting. So, coming here at first, we're always going down. You see somebody passing, you're like, Bonjour, Monsieur, Bonjour, Madame, and they don't even answer you because it's the way it is. So, it was a shock. That was, it was a break. shock. Like, I think after a point, I was like, Okay, okay, yeah, that's it. I just have to go. Yeah, it seems you. like everybody leaves a, let's say, is it solitary or yeah. like they mind their business actually mm -hmm. like everybody i think they have a lot of things on their mind yeah that's it or it's just their culture actually yeah so um <clears throat> if if you if you like it's not like a norm for them to just see you and greet you like mm -hmm. half hour or what's up even especially when if when it's somebody that you don't know you've not met exactly. before so it's not it's not yeah. that way or like in over um, in Nigeria, I think maybe you could just see somebody half hour, half hour, you'll see your next door neighbor, yeah. ID, ID be yeah. at the night. And that like thing that. is that now <coughs> we will be able to cope now is we don't greet until somebody greets us so that we, <laughs> we save our energy. Oh my, if you don't greet me, I don't greet you. Keep your balls shooting yourself. <laughs> so to somebody says bonjour or bonsoir, then I reply that oh, okay, bonsoir. Yeah, since, since yeah. the culture, I'm fine with it. Yeah. It's fine, I'm okay with okay. it. Alright, this leads us to the next point which is the kind of independent lifestyle they live here so you notice that everybody is like on their own it's like or you're on your own like everybody just does their own thing by so an example is like your neighbors back in nigeria you have neighbors and you guys are staying opposite each other you will know yourself like oh my guy how far are you there you get matches for there <laughs> you get yeah. sucked <laughs> you, get, you know your oh, neighbors. Oh my gosh, just finish. I'm going to let you guys. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that kind of way. But coming here, I don't even know the people living opposite me. I have no idea. Like, you just see them on the walkway and that's it. They just enter their room. Everybody's in their room. So that you come out in the walkway and you're like, is there anybody living in this load at all? Everybody's in their room. It's just independent. Me and myself. It's just the way it is. That's it, bro. bro. It's amazing. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. <laughs> <laughs> number six is time consciousness to think so when we got here right the way we noticed how people were able to like how they were really time conscious say for example you see people running on the street to catch their bus i'm like what's that that phone was supposed to wait for you for a front <laughs> oh, when they run <laughs> so basically we noticed that people always kept the time like they, they <clears throat> make sure that yes they were always on time, always on schedule. And that is why they don't joke with their breaks. So you see schools having break at certain period of time and they don't joke with it. You can't send them a message at that period and they reply, you know, because they're on break. Offices close at certain time, it's written there and they don't joke with their breaks. So it's crazy. Like now we're on holidays now. You can't yeah, send the no, professor no, no, no. a message now and they'll reply, you know, because they are on break. So they don't care. Now this is break time so and they respect you. But that, I, I think, yeah, that's that's just the good thing about them. You see, they, they devote their time maximally to what they are doing. If it's time for studies, they are 101% in the studies. If it's time for flexing, if it's time for holidays, no. <clears> I'm <throat> going send a message, you nothing come out to like... Even the banks, schools, every facet, yeah. everything, they have yeah. the time for their breaks. The same thing. It's amazing. Like, and it's good because the transport system is on time. In this kind of society where it is it's really cold, you can't stay at the bus stop for too long. So the time oh is always on the screen. I'm freezing. Yeah. The next bus is coming in 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, the bus is coming. I, I remember that first time I went for our first lecture where we are doing them, that time. I think welcome that, with Yeah, that welcome. Mm -hmm. That was funny thing. We missed the bus. <coughs> missed the bus. Yeah. So we had to run and run to a different bus stop yeah. and nobody's waiting for nobody's you. Waiting for once the bus, left. once it's time for the bus to leave, it has left. Yes. So that's something it makes you to be really yeah. ac accurate with your time. Yeah. You could actually schedule or know when you're to arrive um, in a particular, like if you're going to school, if you're going for an yeah. occasion or event yeah. or something, you already know the particular time that you get there. So it's quite good. Like if it's 
Assuming it's 12 p.m. that the bus is coming there, once it's 12, <coughs> the bus even is if there. the driver sees you running to him <laughs> and he's <laughs> moved, he has moved. It's not like oh, Nigeria. Well, as far as I bus stop, no be exactly. bus stop. <laughs> Down for we just put up park in the front. Oh yeah, yeah, wally, 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 wally. That one no day again too. That was something that we experienced. Okay. Which is about food. Okay, the food has been really difficult for me. No, <laughs> for me, for example, like there's no pepe in your food. And as a Yoruba guy, I need to see some redness. Oh my god, try your pepper join now. I need some redness in my, my food. I need to let water come out of my eyes and that kind of thing. So I've not seen it and it's a problem and yeah, food has been a problem, but they have some really good ones. Yeah, so yeah. There are some nice ones, the lasagna, the french fries, I love french fries. I, I, I think the lasagna was one of the best things I've eaten. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite yeah. good, but yeah. um, <laughs> the thing is just that you just have to get used to it. Like myself, yeah. I, don't, I didn't see the challenge um, of learning to eat um, new foods. Like I knew that, yes, that's something I'm going to expect here. But the thing about their food, like most of the foods I've eaten is that it's not quite tasty as I'm used yeah. to. Yeah, no like sure. maybe the salt is small. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, no pepper, spice. there's no pepper that there's no pepper that no all this kind of pepper spices. guys but when it comes to sugar mm -hmm. hey pardon lord <laughs> yes when it comes to that desert yes. you can never like, wrong french with people it. they don't go wrong with their sugar they're their desert yes. really sugary no one no one that they do all these um, exercises yeah, yeah. they know that they're taking a whole lot of sugar exactly. like ex exactly. excessively sweet yeah. but i think that's what i used to um to hold myself so yeah. Well, the food knows with us, this that will go not in Yeah, and another thing to add is that yeah, we're in France and France is beautiful in the fact that they, they cater for their students. They have this cruise restaurant thing where you can eat meals for as low as one euro, one euro. which is amazing one because euro. you get to see I'll put pictures on the screen. Amazing yeah. set of dishes that we eat for just one euro as cheap as that. It's good for the students, it's amazing. So sometimes you can't complain about the food, maybe you don't like it because it's so cheap. You want to that kind of thing outside your proper restaurant, yeah, you're paying more. And, it, and it's actually good compared to their minimum wage. One yeah. euro for their minimum wage. Ah, that's like your free food actually. <laughs> and not not like it's it's that price and they give you any any kind no, of food. It's but well it's cooked. Balance that it's well cooked. You have the main course, you have um the desserts, you have yeah. fruits, you have salads, you have a whole lot of things. And anything they give to you, they must put their French bread. <laughs> that they don't go wrong with their baguettes. <laughs> no. Like initially when I came out, I was like, ah, see, boy, is it that I only saw that me and they go into my tour? Or maybe they only your baguette. Like, but for me, yeah. eh, to me it was mm -hmm. it was just it. Yeah. But I think it, I think it's their culture, so yeah. they are they are quite used to it. So each and every meal they mm -hmm. must be a bread yeah it must be I, a bread i remember the first week the welcome week we had with dances and yeah. they had this array of food and everything and i was struggling to go which one should i pick which one should i i should have managed to share a pack different from a piece of my food <coughs> and i was that one day. i was like the thinking all of my life choices that like, why did i pick this what the? and i look up and i see my program coordinators having the time of their life they cut the bread pack the sauce or carrot it is and like hmm trap bien yeah. like what like what I think that was one of one of the, the drinks I drank there and I was thinking it was water. I actually mm -hmm. don't know what it's different was, water. It's sparkling it was, water. It was different varieties of water. Is, like <laughs> sparkling water, there's spring water, there's this one water and there's a lot. Yeah. Well yeah. But, but it's actually good that yeah, I mean it's we're learning. Good. To see a whole lot of stuff yeah. that yeah maybe it's not your normal thing it's, true it's true. a good one it's a different experience and we're enjoying it leads us to the next point talking about the, talking about the fact that your food is always sugary uh this explains they are very active lifestyle yeah so they're really active like you see people very old and they're riding bikes like that is how that if is their you're not riding or you're jogging yeah if you're not jogging you're walking you are running show. like you, like no, no, no. If it's in, if it's in terms of if it's in terms of health, I, I think yeah. they, they, they have it because yeah. you see you see a lot of elderly persons like they are always doing exercises. Exactly. But and and what I've noticed is that they, they build their kids to do that from the beginning. You see, they are small kids with scooter riding yeah. alongside the dad you know riding bicycle you know if, even in their schools now like um, the one close the let's say um, close to a uh, yeah. uh, uh, university like they have a bicycle practice i mm -hmm. think it's like one of their routines like on mondays 
You see all the children with yeah. their helmets, their, their protective Riding in the spark of the curriculum. Like, they even have a field for bicycles, yeah. different routes. They put some um, slopey places yeah. and a whole lot of things. Yeah. Like, really, they're really active. <clears throat> and surprising for us, uh, because Nigeria, everybody wants to ride their car. <laughs> they, ride, they ride bicycle for the year. <laughs> so everyone is on your bike, everyone yeah. is on your like, I, I think then if they see someone riding bicycle, it's like, uh, it's like the person is, um, he does have money yes, or no something. Money. Like, yes. Car is the main thing, like you have to own a it's car. Different, but yeah. here, the way it's structured is like, they, they, like everybody has access to public transport in such a way that you could easily go to wherever you want you to go, go to. to the trams are available, the trains are available, the, the buses. buses are available. Any kind of if, yeah. if you want to fly, so the flights are still there. <laughs> yeah, so, so it just it, makes sense. It, yeah, it's not like only a vehicle. Yeah. I don't think they see it as like say I don't arrive. Yeah. Like it's one kind of kind of big thing. Yeah. So that that, that <clears throat> active lifestyle helps them to burn all of those sugars in their desert and stuff. So it's not surprising that these guys have longer lifespan. These guys are more active and fit, which is a good thing. Oh. Another thing we experienced here was length of days, length of nights how quick it was easy to get dark, how late it is and the sun is still up. So when we came here to like fall and we noticed that 9 p.m. everyone was it's still bright still, outside. It's still like morning. Like what is going on here? And now we're in winter time now and four like o'clock. Four five. Four thirty. Eyes don't reach you. Everybody go your house. <laughs> you don't get touched for five. Go five top. <laughs> so what that everywhere is dark already and like what's going on like yeah. It's like that too. So I think it changes. That's why sometimes they, they take your clock one hour back so that True. they can accommodate. They like seven. Exactly. So it's it's a good thing and it's something that we, we were not used to. So now you plan your day around 4 30 because you know once it's 4 30, you can't really go out again because it's very dark. And sometimes it can be depressing if you don't see the sun well enough. For me, I like to see the sun. Anytime I get a sunny day like this, I go outside, spread my oh, wings, so, like Africa. I, 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 don't, I don't see sun tired, but well, like, wait, but when you see sun, like the, the weather, especially yeah. when it's extremely cold, yeah. like if you see the sun, you're like, wow, yeah, he explains so good. why in summertime these guys go crazy, beach every day, yeah. you, you just want to spread yeah. yourself under the sun because they don't see the sun as much as we did back in Nigeria. Yeah, this is one thing I experienced. Now, the next one, number 10, is data, mobile data, and phone calls. Ooh. Speed of light. <laughs> First, okay, yeah, talking about the speed, right? It's really fast, really, really fast. Like you don't have to go to one corner, raise your phone. Ah, network only really inside. Well, can can okay. all for 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 <laughs> So it, it's not like that. The network is, is is really good. The Wi-Fi is so sound, and you it's I don't know how to explain it. Like it's universal. You're in the class, the same Wi-Fi. You get to the restaurant, the same Wi-Fi. You connect. Easy, seamless. So you have no excuse that you've not done your homework or you no. Like it's just beautiful. And another thing, you want to say something? Yeah, like that first period we are coming, like strategic locations, mm -hmm. they are free internet access. Free, yes. Such that if you're traveling or yeah. let's say for somebody that's coming for a, for the first time and maybe you don't have a SIM card or something, mm -hmm. you have you have um, you have good access to good quality mm -hmm. data. Yeah. Like if you go to any particular airport, yes, restaurant, like airports like in fact, just normal sit yeah. towns and everything. So you don't you see, get stranded. Yeah, you see, um, you'll be able to um, get some some good network there, mm -hmm. so you can be able to maneuver your way and yeah. get to where you're going yeah. to. And it's that, actually been good. Yeah. And that thing again is the subscription plan and everything. Back in Nigeria, you would do ten gig like ten times in a month before you can get through a month with your data. It's run out. You keep doing it again. But yeah, once you just subscribe, I think it's it's as good as unlimited. Like. Once in the month, they tell you, I think it's 90 gig or something. Yeah, for a fair, fair yeah. price. The plan we're using that is like 9 euros or something. But you don't even finish it. Because and you have network virtually everywhere. Yeah. You have data in the residence. You have so, data in school. You have data on the road. <laughs> like, it's like, it's just there. Like, yeah, unlimited. It's unlimited. Is unlimited. Yeah. Not like the where I was coming from, where you have to do over time. Even calls are unlimited. Though. Exactly. Now, if one call person for 25 hours a day, like, it's there that not yeah. charge me extra for it. I'm mm -hmm. like, what? But it's charging extra. It's the same thing. It's the, it's, it's a monthly wage. You can call oh, every number in France free. It's not the same thing for us. You have like you have to SMS, unlimited mm -hmm. phone calls. Like. You have to buy a recharge card to call separately. You have to buy a recharge card to make data separately. Where we're coming from, but yeah, it's just different. It's beautiful. They just take subscription from your account. You don't know, and it keeps running. And, funny, and the funny thing is that it's quite. I think if you ask me, I'll say it's affordable. Yeah. 
it's quite affordable. It's, it's, it's good. Yes. It's, it's you, you you get a is it a run for your money or something? Yeah, you get like, good value for yes, your money. You get a good value for, good your, value money. for your money. I hope uh, Nigeria can get to that point where you do subscription of 15 gig, for example, at a good price, and you don't have to do it again. No matter what you do, no matter the Instagram, no matter the TikTok, you just have that baseline. Yeah, I, I, I think that will actually be a good yeah. one. All right, 11 on the list is price of things. So, uh, for me, it was difficult at the beginning to understand if something was expensive or if it was cheap, because uh, we were told before we came here, don't convert things in your head and everything. Okay, so okay, convert, I, I knew. You convert to Naira. <laughs> I knew from Nigeria, okay, you don't convert. Try as much as possible to spend in their own rate and their denomination. But I don't know why something is expensive. Like, I see a mug on the tray saying 20 euros. Is 20 euros expensive or is not expensive? I don't know because I don't want to convert. So I don't know how they are raising. So it was difficult for me at first. So sometimes I would go for the least things, lowest quality because I wanted to say uh, two euros at the end of the day it's not when you convert it to nine i'd be like ah, that's what i'm spending for <laughs> at the end of the day it's not good quality like i expected so that was something for me i think how, how i was able to um, um um go through that was um comparing their minimum wage i would i'll say okay mm -hmm. like in nigeria this is the minimum wage so if you're buying something and maybe most of the time it's like almost half the price of or or maybe some things like if you want to get some quality things, you find that if somebody is living on the minimum wage, like mm -hmm. you have exceeded it um, a long time ago. But over here, compared to the minimum wage, which was about um, the last time I checked, it was about 1,500 euros. So let's say I want to go and get something and I'm seeing it's like 20 euros. Ah, well, for, what, for what I want, I think it's, it's fair for me. Mm -hmm. So I was using the minimum wage as a benchmark to see if um, things were actually cheap or expensive for myself here. Yeah, it makes sense. I was able yeah. to go about that. Another thing about like price of stuff is uh, going to malls and everything, and you have the the price of the items there, so you not, don't negotiate. Nothing like I watch like, last. <laughs> <laughs> you don't negotiate. Now, now five hundred that we go say I be people go say like when I see somebody that is desperate, actually want to say I maybe you can enjoy for Christmas mm -hmm. or uh, use the money to do some other thing. No, no, no. Yeah, it's like so, a fixed price. Yeah. Like all these DM for price, Instagram sellers and the like too. <coughs> yeah. Anyways, we didn't really see much of it. You can't negotiate things. Most of the things, the price are tagged there. So whether it's expensive or not, you have no choice. The if seller want to, if you want to buy, you buy. Yeah, exactly. You the seller has indicated that this is the amount to selling it. No question about it. So yeah. It's a surprise. And me. another thing I, I observed was like like from the first period when we came, like the prices of things, it's how it is. Like for example, let's say you're going to buy um, maybe this bread, or you're going to buy this uh, noodles or something. Like the price it, it has been is the same price it is now. It's not like uh, maybe you go and come back later. And maybe um, a certain percentage of of euros have been added to it. Yeah. So it's just like at steady. Least. So at least Stable you, you budget yourself. You could say okay, this is the amount I use on Spend for this, for this, for this, and yeah. you'll be able to go by. So it's actually great that yeah. um, things are not just overinflated. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody can just come up. We wake up one morning and say chicken is not uh, 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 500, 500 and on top of this thing. Do you find anybody around will do it and it's mm -hmm. like, there's no control. Yeah. But I think yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's quite it's quite different. It's been regular and stable <clears throat> since we came. So 12th on our list is uh, the amount of people that understand English. So before I came here, like France, French, how do I cope? How I... La Francais are the big. Vous parlez anglais? <laughs> I want to appeal to do my appeal that we did my head. But when I, I, I thought it was going to be difficult to like leave and everything, but when I came, I was surprised with the amount of people that could understand English. Like, understand when I mean understand, like they can hear you, understand what you say, yeah. and speak a little to just to communicate. Like, we had an experience where we wanted to get COVID vaccine when we came in, and we we're like, how do we, how we want to collect this injection? Like? I was that for <laughs> And they went there with that. They go give me dog vaccine. <laughs> so they give you an um, uh, injection for dog. So when they with that Google Translator and everything trying to do, then we found somebody. We found yes. a lot of people that would speak English and directed us. And even though the guy's English was not as perfect as normal native speakers, but they could understand us. They could tell us how to go about all the appointments and stuff. And it's really good. So most of the time you go to stores and you're trying to speak little French, you can speak. And the guy noticed that you're struggling with the French and he helps you with English. I've experienced it a lot of times. And it's a shock for me because in Nigeria, 
you can't speak English and you come, we are speaking French to somebody. Like, you know, she leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? So, it's so, not serious. <laughs> and the funny thing is that you see that they, 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 they give you the time, they are, they are ready to wait for you, yeah, like, the listen to you and be able to sort uh, your problem out yes, for you. Yes. They are willing to help yeah. you. If, it's, if you're speaking PJ French, Okay, they are cut there with you. Yeah, okay, you mean speaking French? Yes, yes. <laughs> they speak. They, on my little they speak as far as that French. Yeah. I came once. Do you have this? Oh my God. <laughs> I think one of our okay, one of our default um, French words. Um, Vupali, Vupali, or Vupali, si Vupali, si which means do you speak English, please? Yes. I, I, I think okay. Those first friends I came like. I just come to the shop and I want to practice my French. I'm like, bonjour, bonjour, s'il vous plaît, vous parlez anglais? Like, straight. Oh, vous parlez un peu anglais? Like, oh, no, 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 je ne parle anglais. Je ne parle, je ne parle pas anglais. And I'm yeah. like, huh? Here we go again. So, but, but over time, it has been interesting, like, interacting in the language. And you see that as you speak it more, it you get becomes better. better. Yeah, it's good. Number 13. This one is crazy. Accent, our accent. Okay, so let me give you a backdrop. <laughs> So, for us, we've been speaking English all the days of our life. Like, Nigeria is nice. an English speaking country. We were colonized by the British. We've been speaking English for as long as I can remember. I, in fact, learning my local language, which is Yoruba, I learned it after I learned English. I was really good with English. I've always been good with English. My TOEFL, I, I did my TOEFL under a week because it was natural. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're speaking English all my life. But coming here, yeah, coming to our program, coming to dances and mixing up with uh, our classmates, international students from all over the world, we noticed that it was hard for them to understand our accent. Many times we're talking and you hear something like, okay. I come, sorry, come again. I can you hear you. Ah, I come again, again. <laughs> and I like, like oh, sorry, can you? Oh my God. So when I started speaking slowly, slowly so, uh, uh, hello, <laughs> can I have your pen? So it's annoying for me like, at first, but like now touching it, touching the language yeah. a little bit. Yeah, so it's not as if someone is forming accent or anything, but it's because we could not speak directly, and these guys yells directly, so we had to find a way to adapt. Yeah. But it's surprising because yeah. we've been speaking English all our lives, so why is it like this? Yeah, I, I, I think maybe the, the, the one of the major things is um, because most of them, or majority of them, English is not their first language, mm -hmm. so it's similar. Um, <clears throat> maybe when when the native French speaker is speaking to you, like the normal French, you know, you might not get it very well, but you tell them, please, 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 I beg, I beg, speak small, small, speak small. But I think it's similar thing. Like yeah. maybe if you are, we are speaking like how it is, they yeah. might not really get it yeah. much. Like, I think because we, yeah. we, we are native English speakers speaking for a long time, we can pick up on the accent, no matter how difficult, but some of them have really difficult accent, let's be, let's be true. But no matter how difficult the accent, we can pick it up because we've been speaking English all of the time. Yeah, and true. because of that, we speak really fast because we speak English all of our lives. So we speak really, same way a French speaker, we speak very fast and we're asking him, yeah, blue, long, tomorrow, blue, long, tomorrow, see, <laughs> Talks more, Talks so, more, more. so it's the same thing for them. So they're already like, can you? Come again, is your accent this and that? So it was difficult at the beginning, but I think we're coping now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing that uh, what what amazed me, like a whole lot of persons were able to speak multiple languages. You see, somebody yes. can speak English, yes. can speak French, mm -hmm. can speak Spanish, he can speak Chinese. Yeah, four different yeah, international yeah, languages. Shout out to Emmanuel. Oh my God, shout out to Emmanuel. So we have a lot of people in our program that speak Portuguese, all like languages. different languages. I, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite interesting. What have I been doing in my life? I can only speak English and my local language. It's crazy. <laughs> that means we were learning by me. And my my ass had to learn French. When we are done, we'll be able to like speak other yeah, languages. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, hopefully. definitely. Yeah. We'll, we'll, speak, we'll speak good French. Exactly. You can practice some French, you know? Uh, maybe not now. <laughs> <laughs> And the last one is about trust with their uh, items, trust with the fact that they believe that you would behave yourself. So an example, and you share your own example. An example is uh, buying stuff at the supermarket, for example. It's not very policed like the way it was back in Nigeria. For example, the African store we have here, they have their goods outside of the building and there's nobody watching it. Like this banana, this everything, <laughs> just outside. I'm like, if you carry this banana around in me and with that point there too there's that trust that you behave yourself you are you are a civil so you are a civil man being you come inside buy you pay and you leave it's crazy yes like a whole lot of things even the system here yeah, people will have to cash out and pay by themselves like nobody's coming to check no whether you're actually 
pay for mm -hmm. or whether you, or pay you buy for everything. And that's one, even these bus systems, like you see persons uh, enter the buses, and you have to there's no conductor. No, you have to tap the people just willingly buy their tickets, and go, put it, exactly. slot it in, and go and sit down. Like, simple, they believe that yes, you're doing the right thing. Like, even when I want, went to watch um, a movie in the cinema, I was just holding my ticket, like, okay, in case they come and ask me, like, ah, from here to here, I enter the, 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 the hall. I'm like, asks, you know, I'm not coming to check this ticket. Ah, <laughs> I was, I was yeah. honestly for don't tear. Let me out. 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 I be mean, you want come to say you want to yeah. drink water throughout for exactly me. so come on you see the next flight <laughs> <laughs> so basically yeah these are some of the things we've seen uh and it's a wrap for yeah. now we well, hope you enjoyed the video yeah you know it has actually been a, an interesting yeah, experience, been experience like letting new culture yeah we've been here for like everything three months yeah. plus yeah yeah we've been here for three and months and you're loving it jador mon experience easy Chateau, Chateau. <laughs> what about Chateau? Yeah. Jame? Yeah, I like. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, my French is good, trust me. It is good. Anyway, guys, this has been a long video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and yeah. we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah, peace. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs>